was just in Magnolia Bakery getting this cupcake, uh, red velvet with vanilla frosting. There's another one that has cream cheese frosting. I have yet to try that one. This one is bomb. But that's besides the point. I was in there and there was this song, this like classic song. It's like, um, uh, you, you, what is it? Something like, you just have to wait and our love don't come easy. I'm going to find it and put it on the background. And the Lord was just like, you just have to wait. You just have to wait. And that is the word for today. You know, sometimes we have these uh, moments where we feel anxious, where we feel like bothered, where we feel frustrated, where we feel alone, where we feel scared, in doubt, insecure, whatever it is, right? Um, and the Lord wants you to just wait because your waiting means that you trust God. And um, without trust or without faith, it's impossible to please God. Okay, so God is who runs supreme, and it's crazy because the song is originally from the Supremes. It's three girls that sing the song. Um, but the version that I heard, it was a male, and um, that's how God is. Look how both things are so symbolic to what the Lord helped me, you know, um, because I'm only human, right? And my flesh does still get the best of me sometimes, and um. I wasn't a person that really suffered with anxiety, but due to the certain things, certain struggles and, um, you know, traumas that I've been through, um, anxiety is something that I deal with and, um, but God gets all the glory and I'm a lot better now and I'm happy. And I know that if this is how I am today, I know that the Bible is true that we just go from glory to glory, right? So the point is, it's not about me. The point is, is that God wants you to wait. God wants you to have enough courage and a, enough bravery um, to know that God is true, that he will deliver you out of all your troubles, according to the book of Psalms. There is nothing to fear. There is nothing to stay anxious about just because you feel those things. Our job is to wait. Our job is to trust. Our job is to hold on because we have to replace what the enemy, how the enemy expects us to react to things. Sorry, the enemy wants us to react um, in fear and doubt and worry and frustration. But we have to replace that, right, with trust. And when you knock out the devil, when you um, control your flesh with trust, with something that is spiritual, with something that um, surpasses all understanding, right, all human understanding, God needs you to work on your waiting because in your waiting is where is when God moves because if you're not waiting then that means that you're trying to you know escape something that nobody can escape we have to learn how to not run from our sufferings and know that if we suffer with Christ we will also be glorified with Christ we will also receive the blessings and the inheritance that belongs to Christ we, that means that we will receive the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit is going to move on our behalf but sometimes we're so quick that we don't even give God the time and somebody who's quick is me I am a quick speaker I like to um, if I see something I gotta have it type of thing not everything you know but you know um, I don't like to be too slow either because some people are too slow and then they it, it's equivalent to doing nothing right they do absolutely nothing and they're in the same spot same location and they're blaming everybody from their for their problems and that's not somebody that I want to be I don't want to blame anybody for my problems I want to be able to when I hear God I go for it you know I don't want to um, spend the rest of my life ignoring God like I used to and um, this is my that's my joy in life just listening to God's voice so I want to encourage you to to wait in your solitude wait in your singleness wait in your marriage wait in your job wait in your frustration until you get the answer from God until you see that God gives you the confirmation until you see that God gives you the green light until you see that God fills you up with the Holy Spirit until you see that God changes your situation around until you hear God say okay you can leave now or okay um, 
this chapter is done for you. You know, just wait on the Lord because um, he wants to lead and guide us out of all of our troubles, out of all of our frustrations, and out of all our worries. Amen. God bless you, and I'll see you in the next video.